Good evening. It is 11.26 at night, and I decided that I wanted to eat something, so I want to eat a pizza. And I have been inspired by Asmongold to make a Totino's party pizza, at least the way that he did it, because it actually looked pretty damn good. And so that's what we're going to be doing this evening. Now, he does talk about a lot of you know, things about his life, about, you know, how he had to wear the same clothes and he didn't really have a lot of money and, you know, th that's kind of his poor man's food. Well, I didn't grow up poor. However, I am poor now. So I decided that, you know, Totino's party pizzas were the way to go. So I have my handy dandy toaster oven right here. This thing has been through so much hell. It's been in my life for a very long time, but you know what? She's still working, even though she's all scratched up and she does have a ding somewhere over here on this side. Yeah, it's like over here somewhere. I'm not exactly for sure. But either way, this toaster oven is my baby. Minus my dog. But he, he doesn't understand English, so he doesn't know that. So this toaster oven right here is going to be the one thing that will save us for this evening so we can have a delicious Totino's party pizza. As you can also see, you are also facing the different direction this time. Normally, you guys are right there on that camera, which you can barely see because of the light that I have. But you guys are normally on that camera, and so you're facing that way. This time, you're facing this way. So you're in a whole different setup. I know, it's crazy. It's unbelievable, man. Anyway, let's go ahead and get onto the pizza. Now, I did get all of the ingredients that Asmongold had also gotten whenever he had got his Totino's Party Pizza. I made sure to get the pepperoni pizza, I made sure to get the mozzarella cheese, made sure to get the extra pepperonis, and then, lo and behold, my grandfather, because he likes to put three pounds of oregano on any pizza that he likes to make, he had an extra container of ground oregano, and he said that I can have it for any type of food that I decide to make. Who knows what I'm going to make with it. Now that I'm looking at it, I really feel like that it's very much expired, but it doesn't matter because any type of bad thing that could be on this oregano is gonna get cooked off in that toaster oven. So why don't you come on over here and I will show you exactly what Asmongold did. So as I said before, we've got the toaster oven. I've already pre-planned a little bit and put the aluminum foil on the tray so that way we can put the pizza on there and start putting all the ingredients on as well. I have this little miniature fridge out here, which actually is my grandparents, but they said that I can use it because all they did was they had one thin crust pizza in it and nothing else. And they didn't really plan on putting anything else in there, so they said that I can go ahead and use it. But I had a four pack that I had purchased of the Totino's pepperoni party pizzas. We're, we're about to have a party tonight. Are you ready for a party? You better get ready for a party. It's a Monday night. We have to party because we're all adults and it doesn't matter if it's Saturday or Friday night or whatever. We're going to party whenever we want to. Ain't that right? Make sure to like and subscribe. Become a member today. So we're going to go ahead and unbag this pizza. I just got the four pack of pizzas from Walmart. So of course, you know, you, you if you're going to get the cheap stuff, you might as well go for the store that always has everything that you need. And most of the time, Walmart has what you need. But there's a lot of the time that Walmart doesn't. But tonight is not one of those nights because they at least had the pizza that I wanted. So, I mean, can't really go wrong. Just because I don't like Walmart doesn't mean they don't have what I want. I mean, come on. At least they got it. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing dressed up. Got the Hormel pepperonis just like he was saying packaging looks different but also I just purchased it today mine is not four years expired so or however long his was expired who knows and then we also have the mozzarella cheese now you may be wondering why it's in here well it's because that I purchased a big bag of mozzarella cheese and I didn't want to keep it all for myself so I saved some for my grandparents for them to use because we eat pizzas all the god dang time oh. and I wanted to make sure that I had enough and I wanted to make sure they had enough so I just went ahead and put it in a ziploc bag so we're gonna go ahead and take some of this cheese here and we're going to spread it along 
pizza. Get it all nice and spread out as evenly as humanly possible. Now, I, I'm going to refer to Asmongold as Zach because anytime that I say his entire name, like sometimes it just gives me an aneurysm because I know exactly what his real name is and I prefer to call people by their real name. Now, he, he, he may not give a shit. He may give a shit, but I'm just going to call him Zach. So, Zach decided to tell everyone that whenever you put the cheese on, you don't put a lot of cheese on because nobody eats a shit ton of cheese. Well, that's where I think that he is wrong because I actually like to eat a bunch of cheese. In fact, watch this. I like cheese, but that's just because I'm clinically insane. So, that's why I do eat the mozzarella cheese. I eat other types of cheese too. If I had some pepper jack cheese, which I actually have in the house, but I'm not going to go in there because that's a lot of walking and I don't feel like doing that. And I would probably put some pepper jack cheese on it, but if I'm also going to follow through to Zach's recipe, I got to do the mozzarella cheese only. So we're going to go ahead and put that back in there. I have things falling out all over the place in the refrigerator. That's kind of weird. All right. And then we're also going to get the pepperoni. Now, I didn't check the expiration date on this. Should be fine though. None of the pepperonis look like ass, so I think it's I think it's pretty good. It's also funny, whenever I was purchasing this today, my grandmother told me, she said, hey, you made sure that it's not gonna go bad, right? Because those things usually go bad pretty quick. Well, that's interesting because it's like a universal thing. The Hormel pepperoni just goes bad so quick. They have a big package of it there at Walmart too, but I decided if it goes bad real quick and I'm not gonna add anything, there's no point in having it. He was saying, don't overlap the pepperoni. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that on there. I know you guys can't really see it. Maybe I could turn off this light. I don't know, does that help? Eh, still looks like ass, but I'll show you guys the finished product here in just a moment. So he said to make sure the pepperonis don't overlap like a crazy person. So I'm gonna make sure that all these pepperonis are nice and evenly spread out put in a manner as to not go over one another and I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of these because reaching in that bag is so dumb all the time and so I don't want to continue to do that we're gonna go ahead and just spread these out and you guys may be wondering so why are you doing this now because he made that video so many months ago why would you want to be doing this now well to those haters I dab on you. I saw his video just recently and that inspired me that anytime that I want to make a pizza I should make it this way. And you know what? I think it's better to be late to it than to not have done it at all. So even though I may be late to the party of making Asmongold's Tostino's party or Totino's party pizza, I think it's still fine. And you know what? Just for that, see these two pepperonis? That's right. So now we're going to throw those back in here. And that's how it's supposed to look. Now, I'll be completely honest with y'all. I didn't see whenever he put the oregano on. I think I did before, but I completely forgot. So, unfortunately, I think I'm a little late to the oregano party. But what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to sprinkle it on there right now. Now, it's also funny. Everybody says, oh, you got to put the oregano on in the beginning or and then some people say well you put the oregano on in the end if you look it up online and you do fresh oregano fresh oregano is supposed to be on the pizza afterwards because then it actually holds all the flavor because it's fresh this is ground oregano they usually say that it's best to put it on in the beginning but you can put it on in the beginning or the end normally I put it on at the end but I think with this being ground oregano and it could be back from the 1970s I think it would just be best if I put it on now, so that way it's at least covering the pepperoni. And there you have it. That is a Jake style pizza. So now we're going to go ahead and put it in here. We're going to set it in there just like that, all nice and ready to go. There's a little pizza button on here. I don't know what he had on his toaster oven, but I have a little pizza button right here automatically sets it to 400 degrees so we're just going to go ahead and pop this in here 
for, I don't know, maybe, let's do 15 minutes. I think that would be good, because also, I got a timer on this. He didn't have a timer on his oven, and so he let his burn, which is how most people usually do it. And I was supposed to have it in there for 450. Hang on just a second. We're going to go ahead and follow the instructions. It says 450 at 10 to 12 minutes, so we're going to just go ahead and follow the instructions. Actually, we're going to do it for 13 because I didn't preheat it. So we'll just go ahead and see how that comes out, and we'll see you guys back here in about 13 minutes. All right, the pizza is completed. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and move this back because I want as much room as humanly possible. And also, I just wanted to look in, into your eyes and just see what you're actually thinking right now. Not really, I really don't care. The pizza is now prepared. Let's go ahead and see how it came out. Look at that, nice and golden brown. Well, you haven't even seen it yet, because I haven't even grabbed it yet. I don't even know what I'm trying to show you. I'm just messing up all over the place, but it's okay, because I'm going to show you now. Look at that nice golden pizza right there. Even through this, that is very hot. But yeah, so because of this having a timer, unfortunately I didn't cook it the Asmund Gold way, which was to burn the living crap out of it, but it did come out really damn good. I'm very happy about how this pizza came out. So. We're gonna let it cool for just a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and give it a try. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and steal one of these pepperonis right here. Oh, look at that cheese. That cheese just melts right off of it. Look at that. Mmm. Delicioso. We'll be back here pretty soon. All right, we have let it sit here and try to cool down just a little bit. I don't know exactly if it is very cool, but I think that it is cool enough for me to touch, which it is, and that's just fantastic. It's nice and golden brown on the bottom part of the crust, that looks really good. Instead of being a barbarian, I do have a knife out here, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut off a slice and see how the inside of this has turned out gonna get as much of the cheese and as much as of the pepperoni as humanly possible I know you can't see this right now but believe me you're about to see the grace of God in this pizza and here is one good slice right here That was a lot of cheese, but it's delicious. Let's try and get a little bit sensual with it. Mmm. So good. I hope you guys learned something this evening. Because if you are poor and you're watching this video, that's crazy because I want to know how you're watching this video. What kind of phone do you have? If you are poor and you want to have a good, he, he calls it a $2 pizza, I'd say with getting the pizzas that was a little over seven dollars and the mozzarella cheese and the pepperoni i'd say that it's probably about like i don't know 12 bucks or most if you have 12 dollars to spare and you want to have some of these pizzas and you want to be able to make them up and have them be as thick as humanly possible and delicious as this is the way to go so yeah i hope you learned something this evening i'm going to get a dr pepper out of the fridge to enjoy it because i got to be on the asmund gold diet if i'm going to eat this Hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and press the bell so that way you don't miss another upload. Go check out Asmund Gold. The link will be down in the description. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my pizza and watch the new boys video because they went into the insane asylum finally with Sam and Colby. I'm going to go ahead and watch that. If you guys haven't seen the boys either, I'll go ahead and put them down in the link in the description because you need to check them out. The boys are awesome. So if you haven't seen them yet, go check them out. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.